Hello, so welcome to this video. Now, this video is to explain the problem that I've had over the last few months with in-car camera systems. This is something that's bugged me for months and I've finally, after six months, found out what the problem is. Now, if you don't normally watch my videos, I'm going to explain the problem. If you do normally watch them and you think, oh no, not this again, just bear with me, I'll explain it quite quickly. Back in April or May, I think it was late April, early May, I bought an in-car camera system which is called the Roadhawk HD. Now, from the time I first used it, there was something funny about the sound. Um, whenever you played it back, I'm going to play some video now, and you kept getting this horrible sound on the video just like this. Now, bear in mind the windows are not open in my car. When I play this sample clip, I know you're going to say, oh, the windows are open. They're not. It sounds like they are, but they're not. Okay, so here we go. This is what the camera sounded like. Okay, so I thought there must be something wrong with it, so I sent it back to the company and they sent me another one. That one was the same, so I sent it back again and they said, oh, we've got this new design coming out soon, um, it's going to be a lot better, so we'll send you one of those. So I had one of those, waited about a month for it. It was better, but it still wasn't perfect. So I thought, what is wrong with this camera system? I was just sick of it. So I went out and bought a new one, which is the one I'm using now. And the first time I tried it, brilliant. Second day I tried it, brilliant. Third day I tried it, brilliant. No problems at all. The whole problem's gone. And people kept saying to me, why won't you tell us what it is? Why is it so secret? You know, why won't you just tell us what system it is? And I kept saying, it's because I don't want to announce it all until I've got it all working properly and make sure I've tested it fully. <clears throat> so anyway, um, the fourth day that I had this new camera, guess what happened? when I play about the video. Yep, I had a problem again with the sound. I thought, I can't believe this, a different camera, a different company. What is wrong with this camera? Now, I finally found out what it is, and it's what I originally said right back at the beginning, which is really annoying. The problem is, and I'm going to announce this now, so you're ready, because this is something that's taken me six months to work out. This kept me up last night. <clears throat> I was awake until two in the morning, which is why I might sound a bit rough. Um, and I worked out what it is, because one of the cameras I had in the car worked fine, and the other one didn't. So at the moment now, I've got two of these new cameras in the car, both facing forwards. The one that you're listening to now should sound okay. Now I know it's raining, and the roads are terrible around here, it's all bumpy, I know that, but it will sound okay. In a moment, I'm going to switch to the other camera, which is next to this one. I'm going to pull up here, and I'm going to um, just see if my idea works. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the other camera now. So there we go, this is on the other camera now. So this should sound not bad, but if you listen in the background, you can hear like a dee do dee do dee do kind of goes like that. So I'm now going to go back to the other camera. I'll keep quiet for a few seconds so you can hear that. So can you hear it? Not that bad, nowhere near as bad as the road walk was. But I'm going to go back to the other camera now and explain it. Okay, so we're back on the other camera. This one should now sound a little bit better. What the problem is, it's caused by the car's electrical system. Now, there's nothing really wrong with my car as such, but I was, um, I was on a forum online and this electrician was saying to me about how your cars are not the best places to have cameras because, you know, you're saying you've done well to get your camera working so well. And because the car's electrical system is not great. I'm not a mechanic, I'm a driving instructor now, but I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an electrician. But I understand it's something to do with the alternator, something in the engine which kind of fluctuates power or something like that. So yeah, when you have a car camera system plugged in, the noise you're hearing is actually um, a little bit of kind of interference from the car power supply. The reason the one you listed to now isn't that bad is because this one is running off a battery. So what the plan is, is in the future, when I do videos like about driving tests and driving lessons, that are quite long, about an hour long, whatever, I'm going to run it off the battery, because it lasts for an hour with 15 minutes, I tested it the other day. When I do day-to-day -day videos, just general driving, um, you may get a slight bit of hissing, because 
out when we plugged into the car so I can't run it off the battery all the time it's not going to last long enough so yeah that is our problem solved <clears throat> so I don't know whether having a different car might help because some people say to me on my old camera they say what do you mean there's the same problem with the road or KHT I've got one and there's nothing wrong with it so yeah um, Maybe there wasn't anything wrong with the road dog, I don't think there was. I think it was just purely the fact that I had it plugged in because you have to have it plugged in. So I am getting a new car next year, it won't be for another year, it's like late October next year I'm getting a new one. I'm probably not going to have Ford again because I do love Fords, I love the Fiesta, I love the Focus, I've had them for nine years now. But they have got electrical issues. Um, I had one where the bulbs kept blowing, the light bulb blew after literally two minutes and I went to a garage and I told them and I said put some new bulbs in for free they put them in I got in the car, turned the lights on bang the bulbs blew and they said ah <laughs> um, if you look online there are known problems with the Fiesta's electrics um, I've never had in this particular car but in my other one if you turn the radio on um, sometimes it just wouldn't come on you, the screen would be on, it would tell you the station name and that but there'd be no sound even when you turn it on, there's no sound turn it off and on again and it worked so yeah that's just a quick video to explain so if ever anyone asks me what's that sound on your video or you know does the road talk work properly or whatever that's what causes it um, there's nothing wrong with the cameras um, there's nothing really wrong with the car it's just the way it is so I might be releasing this video in full HD, I don't know. The problem with doing full HD videos is that they take up massive amounts of room. When I record a one hour video um, in HD, full HD, it's 7.8 gig in size, which with my current internet connection takes 12 hours to upload. So you know, I can't keep doing 12 hour uploads, leaving my PC on all day. So I might do this video in lower quality, it's not really about the video, the video on this camera is fine, the video on the Roadhawk was fine, just the sound. Um, by the way, the reason the Roadhawk was worse when you plugged in an external microphone, because I've done another video asking the question, why is the sound worse when you plug in an external mic? Well, it's because the external microphone was pulling power through the camera so it's kind of making the problem worse because he was putting more power through the Roadhawk and making the static and interference worse so yeah that's um that is why I've had sound problems I'm so glad I've now finally worked that out um, because with the Roadhawk I couldn't test it without it plugged in because you had to have plugged in although having said that you can actually plug the Roadhawk in in your house and I did try that and it did work fine um, when it was in the car, not moving with the engine off, it was fine. So it's proof that when you turn the engine on, I don't know whether it's just this car or cars or whatever. This is a new diesel Fiesta, it's not a luxury car, is it? It's a cheap and cheerful car. It's just a driving school car, I'm not going to go and buy a Porsche. But yeah, that is the, um, the problem solved. One final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to high speed to test this out because I made the car camera system you couldn't hear a thing at high speed this one I've already tried today was a little bit better um, but it's quite a bit better so it's 40 at the moment you can see in the distance you've got the national speed sign so I'm just going to drive up to high speed and just test this out so this is on the camera that's good which should sound good, I'm going to speed up now. Uh, it, it, my car isn't that slow, it's not that fast, it's just here again, it's a Fiesta, it's so not, not driving a sports car here. <laughs> so, how does that sound now? That's about 60. Um, does that sound good? Does sound better than before? And on the other camera, the one that shouldn't work so well. Now I'm on the other camera, how does that sound? Is that buzzing more? It's about 55 miles an hour. So, yeah. Please let me know what you think. Um, does it even bother you if you get the other sound, the, the sort of buzzing sound? Because the problem is I'm a perfectionist. Um, that's what makes me such a good instructor. I will not let anything go. Um, it has to be perfect for me. I will not put up with second best with anything. And it's not because I'm a snob. I don't go and spend loads of money on things. It's just I like things to work properly. So it annoys me when you buy something, especially the camera that cost me £300 and it didn't even work properly. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video, thanks for watching, as ever, please subscribe to my videos if you want to be the first to see them, um, remember
remember to like the video if you like it because that will help more people find them. If you've got an in-car camera system um, and you want to yeah, give me your input, what do you think? If you had problems when you had them plugged in, um, what car have you got? I've got a Ford Fiesta, what do you drive? Um, is it better in the more expensive cars? Is it better in different makes? Um, I heard that apparently Renault is a little bit better for the electrics. Um, I don't know why, it's just something someone said to me. Probably because I worked at Renault. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> so that's the end of the video. I'm going to go and do a lesson now. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.